this is Julia Devere with SPU Soccer. Julia, 2018 season is starting. Uh, is it hard to believe for you that this is your final collegiate year? <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy. It's just something that everyone in my class that we've been thinking about growing up and then obviously since we've been here at SPU and it's just flown by. Like, I can't believe it. Well, it wasn't too long ago that you were the newcomer uh, coming in here. Uh, now there are nine newcomers, eight freshmen, and one transfer. Um, how is that, How has that worked, them integrating into the team? Um, it's definitely something that we've been thinking about and preparing for um, since we knew how many we had coming in, just because that can be a really big adjustment. Um, basically getting um, more than a quarter of the team is brand new, and it's been so awesome, better than we could have anticipated. Um, they've all fit in super well. Um, We've had a lot of time together through trainings, meetings, and we went to Camp Casey for a few days, and it's just been the perfect transition, and they're all really contributing very well. Great. Have you had a chance to give them any advice, or if not, what advice would you give them? Um, yeah, a little bit here and there, a lot of it soccer-related, but um, the main thing that we're kind of trying to re reiterate is that uh, it's just going to go by so quickly to enjoy it so much, um, to not overthink everything, to remain confident in yourself, and just to enjoy every moment because it's really going to fly by for them. Well, this year's team, uh, you have some real key players coming back, including the, the top three point producers, and you're one of those with uh, <laughs> four goals and two assists mm -hmm. last year for 10 total points. Uh, how do you feel like uh, the potential that offense has this year? I think um, we have a lot of potential as an offense. Um, Casey, Sophia work very well together up top. Mick and Sierra are also a very great combination. All four of them can work together. Um, and then we have such a strong midfield in our scrimmage games that we've had here. It's been awesome seeing kind of the starters go off the field and a bunch of new players, generally freshmen, coming on. And you can't tell the difference in the game. Um, they keep up the level super well. Um, and I just feel like we have a really high-powered offense going into this season. Every day in practice you get to, uh, or have to, whatever, uh, whichever the app uh, go on, uh, practice against a defense that uh, potentially is very good. Uh, the back line is, is back intact. Uh, people all have starting experience, including all West Region, uh, Caitlin Willis. Mm -hmm. How difficult is that to uh, be successful against that defense in practice? Um, I think it has been pretty difficult. It's very good practice, certainly. There's not many more uh, many defenses that we'll see that have more experience and more skill than ours, and so I think it's definitely equipping our offense very well. Great. Uh, with so many newcomers, uh, is there a newcomer that stands out, or maybe someone who didn't get as much playing time last year as, as maybe they, um, people might not have seen as much Falcon fans? Is there anyone who will surprise, or a newcomer that really impresses you? Um, I would say, honestly, that all of them have stood out in their own way. Um, which is why I feel so confident in our team this year because we have so many people that um, can contribute um, across the board uh, from Abby to Spain who's back in defense and then also Riley who's our freshman keeper. Um, we have McKenna and Taylor who are super good holding mids um, and then some also strong attacking players. Um, all of them across the board have really shown out and I'm really excited. Um, to see how everyone can contribute. Great. Well, you start the season Thursday, 7 o'clock in your base mm -hmm. stadium at home. Uh, Cal Poly Pomona, and that's a team that uh, beat you in overtime last year. I'll put you on the spot. Do you remember anything about that game? <laughs> um, yeah. I actually scored in that game off of a set piece, um, one that we'd been practicing forever, <laughs> and it wasn't working in practice at all, and then we were able to execute it in a game. So whenever I think about playing Pomona, I think about how fun of a moment that was, um, seeing our practice really pay off. Um, but then, of course, losing to them in the last few seconds of overtime was very frustrating. So we definitely have a bit of a chip on our shoulder, and we're ready to take it at them. Uh, they got you on that one. Uh, your team last year, though, really played great in close games, had seven one-goal decisions, and three of those were golden goals by mm -hmm. Falcons. Why is the team so effective in those close games, do you think? Um, I think we would prefer to not be. <laughs> the, those games are the games where we kind of dug ourselves into a hole at the beginning and then had to scrap back out of it. But at the same time, I think it shows that we have a lot of heart and a lot of passion for what we're doing and that even if we make some early mistakes, we care enough about it to really work ourselves out of it. But the goal this season is definitely to get ahead early. <laughs> Great. Saturday at 1 o'clock at Inner Bay, you host uh, Minnesota State Moorhead, a team uh, we're not familiar with and you haven't played before. At halftime of that game, the 
2008 uh, SPU team that won the national championship is going to be honored. Uh, is that, uh, are you familiar at all with the history? Does Coach uh, Busey ever talk about that team, or wh what do you know about that team? Yeah, he talks about it a lot, um, and definitely is a team that um, he's inspired by and is and that we are inspired by as well um, for so many reasons. And it's been really fun um, hearing even more about them since spring, um, and especially this preseason as we're anticipating that memorial game for them. Um, and definitely all the characteristics that um, they embody is something that we want to embody as well. Um, and of course, striving for national championship is always the ultimate goal. Um, so it should be really fun to see some of them come out. Great. Well, let's quickly uh, talk a little bit about you. First, tell us where you're from. I'm from Bellingham, Washington. And for those not familiar with Northwest geography, <laughs> if you were to uh, leave your house up in Bellingham in a car and there was normal traffic, how long would that take you to get to the like SPU an campus? An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Ish, Perfect. Yeah. And what are you majoring in? I am double majoring in psychology and Spanish. Great. Uh, that leads into the uh, what you did this uh, summer. <laughs> Why don't you tell uh, tell Packham says what you did uh, this summer, starting immediately after classes uh, ended. Yeah, pretty much the day after finals, um, I started studying for the GRE, which is just the general assessment um, standardized test to get into graduate school. So that was my whole summer. <laughs> and you just took the test. Tell us about that. Yeah, I took it yesterday. It went super well. Um, I got the scores that I wanted to be competitive at the universities that I'm looking at. So I'm super excited. Um, what uh, long-range goal, great, once you're done with grad school, or whatever, what, what plans? What do you want to do? Well, I'm hoping to get my um, doctorate in clinical psychology. Um, and kind of a lot of ideas that could <laughs> come out of that, but the main idea right now is to be um, a family reunification therapist, um, specifically with foster care children. Great. Fantastic. Well, Julie, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. Good luck this week. Thank you.